So six months in hospital, what give or take? Just under, yeah. Well, at that point, that, that, that's that's a subject. So yeah. six months solid. Solid. I left hospital on fifteen operations. I've had thirty. Yeah. Not all of them in and out. Some operations I went in and spent another two or three weeks at a time. Right. Okay. So it's solid six months, but just under a year, okay. I think. Well, question is then, at what point was there a point that you went, I'm going to walk to the South Pole? Or was it something that you've always wanted to do? Or, or was it that the burn gave you that, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to laugh in the face of death. That's a strange thing to say, but I'm going to do it. I mean, was there that point? No. Okay. <laughs> so so, tell, so talk, talk to me then. How did it then come about? It was, it was always something. Uh, I always wanted to do it. And I really did. Now, but now, life gets in the way. Yeah, n- now that we're doing it, the burns made it easier, and I have to admit that, which is a strange way, but yeah. I always wanted to do it. It's As you said, life gets in the way. There was always another contract or working here or I'll do it another time because I have the time because mm. we all think we do. Mm. Um, and hospital itself, I th- maybe a little bit it kind of happened with all this walking again thing and the recovery, and you, you're so long on your own. So another thing for me in hospital, because of the infections that I had, I was on my own. So the idea of a private room, to most people, sounds really great. Oh, your own room. You sit in your own for six months. Huh. My family in Aberdeen, they came down. My mum was a machine. She was down every week for, for a huge cost, and family and friends would come. But essentially, I was on my own. So a nice thing in the wards is there's people going through the same thing as you all around you and you strike up conversations and I had no one to speak to at all. And that's maybe why I got along with the staff so well. They were aware of that and they came in to speak to me and they spent more time with me than maybe they should. Some of the nurses, I like to pretend it's because I'm so good looking, of course. (laughs) Some of the nurses at the end of the shift, instead of going home, would come and sit with me for half an hour or an hour and chat and that's... Mm. You know, horrible NHS again. How nice of them. They don't have to be there and they stay to speak to me. Wow. Um, so, yeah, be on your own. That was a strange But feeling. at what point then did you actually say... So the healer, yeah. The, you're going to do the this. The mind... The mind got stronger quicker than my body. Right. And my mind got bored very quickly. Yeah. So it was almost searching for, for things to do. Then you go back to, oh, I always planned to do this. Well, well maybe I could and... Oh, you can't because of your, your your burns and so on. And and it was the reason it came about was it was an inspirational thing. I thought when I was at my lowest point mm. and I was upset and my life had gone and all the rest of that stuff. Imagine if I could have been given a DVD mm. of so the staff goes, you know what, watch this. And I put it on and there's a guy or a girl who'd been in my situation roughly and they were doing this amazing stuff anyway. I thought, wow, I'd, I'd feel great. I'd feel a lot better. But it didn't exist. So that's make it exist. Mm. That's do it. Mm. Instead of, it, it's like being a business, understanding there's a gap in the market. <laughs> there's no one doing it. So in a year's time, two, three, four, and there's another person in, in that situation. It doesn't have to be a fire, just down. Yeah. How great would it be to show that, that it doesn't have to be the end of you you know, life goes on and all this stuff. And that was the, the point for me, the idea that I could maybe mm. help others through my my misfortune. But the decision I made, a lot of people want the, did my life change or, or did I suddenly want to live life to the, I didn't. I made the decision that I would live my life exactly how I was. Right. The fire was, I wasn't going to be the burnt guy, which funnily enough I am to a lot of people now. <laughs> but um, I wasn't going to let it define me. Instead of saying, I'm going to be different and I will lead my life this way, I'm not. I'm going to be exactly the same as I was. Well done. I will not be any different because of the fire. And that's stubbornness, I think my girlfriend says. <laughs> and my mum, stubborn. I'll accept stubborn. <laughs>